So, I am going to curl my hair today. I was on Instagram and I saw an Instagram story from Adam Gallagher, who's like this like fashion-y person, probably woke up with beautiful curls like this, even though his hair is naturally straight, kind of a situation. But I saw that and it was like these like nice retro, ooh, it's raining. It was like these nice retro-y curls, kind of like bangs, and it looked really cool and effortless and kind of messy, and I want to recreate that for you guys. And I've curled my hair on this channel in the past, but it's always kind of been like an up curl like a nice little like swoosh and I tried to film this yesterday and I kind of curled it in that direction and it didn't quite work out so I have some ideas some thoughts we're back today we're gonna have a better look it's not the hottest day today so like literally yesterday when I was filming I was like dripping sweat so this should be a more pleasant experience for both of us da -na, da -na. Da, na, na, na. <laughs> in terms of what you want your hair to be like, right now I left my hair nice and straight um, and it's just like falling down. Usually when I blow dry my hair, I blow dry it up to give me volume, but I didn't do that today. It felt very wrong. I haven't had hair this straight and this long, like in my eyes, since grade six when I went through an emo phase and grew my hair out, but it was really uh, just to cover up my unibrow because I hadn't discovered tweezers yet. In terms of hair cleanliness, I usually wash my hair like once or twice a week and right now it is Wednesday at like 1 p.m. So that gives you an idea of where my hair is sitting. Um, the important thing is that your hair isn't like perfectly clean. You want a little bit of like scalp oil or like product build up in there. Something when you curl it for the curls to like hold on to, to grab onto and really like, you know, hold on. So. Yesterday when I tried to do this tutorial, the ones that I curled kind of like back, like in this direction, kind of ended up sticking up too much and it didn't really flow. Insert the picture again for reference, this is what we're going for once again. Didn't quite look like that. Um, so we're gonna try something a little different today. Starting out in the back of my hair, just cause I find that's like a little bit of easier workflow. Like if you curl the hair in back, it kind of curls out of the way, you can move forward. But also I'm like 6'2 and no one ever sees like the top back of my head. Um, so I kind of use that as like my practice run. If you are a little bit shorter, you might want to hang out there, do a little bit of a better job. Um, so I'm taking pretty small sections. It makes it quite tedious, but it's going to be for the best in the end. And I'm taking it so that the tongue, the tongue, this part, the tongue, but my tongue is kind of um, behind the curl, so that when I curl it, I curl down. And look at that, ooh, that one turned out good. You can see that one. Not bad, it's looking a little messy. I'm hoping it comes together at the end. We're learning together here. <laughs> Ooh, that one was hot. Can you see the smoke on that one? She was very, she was warm. I think that my hair is just long enough to pull this off, so that gives you an idea of how long my hair is, you know? I don't actually know the length, but I think you, you do need a little bit of a length, even if you are using this very small curling iron. I don't even think I mentioned it, but it's like, I think a quarter inch barrel, like one of the smallest ones you can get. And it's very affordable. It was like $15, I think. Just one of the cheap ones. But it'll work just fine. Okay, so we are getting there. We just have this like nice little front bang section left. Curls and back are done. Doing good. Um, now, we might have a little bit of a trouble here because <laughs> I'm like sweating so much. It's very hot in here and this curling iron's very hot as well. So like my forehead is sweating and the hair, these hairs are getting like kind of stuck to my forehead. So we might have a little bit of a trouble here. We might fry some hairs. We're going to have to stick together on this one. Like, look at this hair, it's just like wet. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so gross. I can't help it. Ooh, turned out nice. It's, it's a little over here, it's a little to the side. <laughs> That's okay. Um, and you can tell as I'm going through all of this, I'm really not like brushing through the curls. I'm leaving them like as they come out of the curling iron to cool down and set so they stay nice and ringlety. If you brush them right away, you're going to brush the curl out. So it looks really bad as we go along. It kind of looks like I'm a poodle. That's okay. I'm going to try and curl this one up away from my face. Hopefully it doesn't stick up too much. No, that's okay. Nice. I'm trying to create a lot of texture in this front section by going opposite directions with everything. 
So I have everything curled. Sorry, I did those last couple of pieces um, kind of really close to the mirror and I know you guys couldn't see, uh, but they were like kind of sweaty and <laughs> stuck to my forehead and they were like very difficult to do and I didn't want to burn my forehead. Anyways, they're fried. Definitely was not good for my hair, but it's done. But I'm gonna take a little bit of product now, just a little bit in your fingers at a time and I'm gonna kind of work each individual curl and give them kind of like a twist and a curl and you'll be able to see in the close up shot what exactly I'm doing. But I don't want too much product at all because I don't want to weigh the hair down and pull the curl out. But I just want to keep them a little bit more defined and get away, get, get rid of some like the frizz that's happening because it's so humid. So I'm taking some product just a little bit between my two fingers, my thumb and my finger. And I'm just kind of twisting the hair, wrapping around a finger, um, kind of judging it into place, defining the curl, giving it a little bit of structure. And then also kind of like moving all the hair where I want it and where I need it. Um, and so once you have everything kind of where you want it, I just take a little bit of hairspray and lock it into position because this was way too much work to just let fall out. <laughs> and that's it. We have some curls for the girls and the boys. Equality. The curly cues coming down onto the forehead. It looks really good. I'm very happy with that. I think this turned out great. Um, I'm going to do some kind of like close-up shots, give you a nice couple angles of it. Okay, so that is the look done. I hope you guys liked it. I'm dying, I'm sweating. It has been a long process trying to film this. I know this probably isn't the look for everyone, but I just, I have stick straight hair and I think we all just want what we can't have. Let's compare it to like the original photo and just see how I did. What do we think? Did I do okay? I think the part in the front's a little bit different, but he also has more hair than I do, so. But yeah, if you guys did like that video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Um, I don't do that many hair tutorials anymore, um, but yeah, like this video, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't. I know I'm very sporadic with my uploads, but I'm really going to try to like stick to a schedule. Maybe not a schedule, but you know, be just a little bit more consistent with my content. I will see you in the next video.